Hello and welcome. My name is Yi Qing. I'm an MS PhD student at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Together with my advisor Tian, we are here to introduce you to our paper Xihe. Have you ever wondered, wouldn't it be nice to let AR applications have lifelike virtual objects rendering? In this paper, we aim to answer the key research question, how to support real-time spatially variant lighting estimation for mobile devices. Before going into this research question, let's be clear about the real-time and spatially variant goal. Graphics applications typically render consecutive images on display at high frequencies to present dynamic visual contents. On mobile devices, most graphic applications target 30 frames per second as the refresh rate, which means all necessary computation needed for render one frame, including lighting estimation, should be finished in approximately less than 33 milliseconds. Meanwhile, in real-world situations, especially for indoor scene, lighting could vary spatially, causing objects to appear in different visual styles. Current commercial framework, for example, ARK on iOS platform, can support real-time lighting estimation through ambient light sensors, but it does not estimate the spatially variant lighting. In fact, we found that using only ARK lighting estimation, it is not enough to render visually coherent virtual objects. Achieving spatially variant lighting estimation is difficult mainly because of the following challenges. First, it needs to estimate scene lighting from a limited view of the scene. Second, it needs to be aware of spatially variant lighting distribution. And finally, it needs to be fast for rendering purpose and matching temporary variant lighting. We introduced Xihe, a 3D vision-based lighting estimation framework for mobile augmented reality. Our novel system provides mobile AR applications the ability to obtain accurate omnidirectional lighting estimation in real time. First, we show some rendering preview. With Xihe, virtual objects rendered by AR applications can be significantly more visually coherent to their surrounding environment. And our system can achieve both real-time and spatially variant estimation goal. Xihe achieved this by incorporating the recent advancement in 3D vision software and hardware, including high-accuracy depth sensors and deep learning powered algorithms which provide the means to better sense and understand the physical surroundings. To estimate the lighting information at a given position, Xihe first takes RGB and depth images. And then, Xihe uses the novel point cloud sampling algorithm to sample the point cloud generated from the input RGBD images into an efficient data structure. Next, Xihe transfers the sampled point cloud to Edge Server and estimates the lighting information in the form of spherical harmonics coefficients with our system co-design model, Xihe Knight, which is based on the state-of-the-art 3D vision-based lighting estimation model. Spherical harmonics coefficients is a compact representation of omnidirectional lighting information, consists of only 27 flow numbers and it is widely used and adopted in modern graphics rendering. Finally, Xihe renders the virtual objects and displays them on the screen. This workflow can be broken into several key system components that we will detail in the next few slides. Next, let's go into the key system components of Xihe. Instead of randomly sample points in the point cloud, we leverage the sphere geometric information to select the points based on the varying directions to maximize the observation coverage completeness. Taking the points from a point cloud, our sampling algorithm generates a set of anchor points that are colored by the point cloud and are evenly distributed on a unisphere surface. Our evaluation shows that the unisphere point cloud sampling outperforms other sampling methods including uniform random sampling, first point sampling in terms of both observation preserving and estimation accuracy. Here we show the results. For estimation accuracy, we trained our system co-design model Xihe Knight with three point cloud sampling methods under the same setup, 
and measure the estimation error in the form of spherical harmonic coefficients RMSE. The other figure shows the observation coverage preserving performance measured in the form of relative entropy. Here we use entropy to describe the distribution uniformity of a projected point cloud on a sphere surface. For more about the entropy calculation, please refer to our paper. To increase network performance and reduce latency, we propose an efficient data encoding method for encoding unisphere point cloud samples. Our encoding method includes precision reduction and empty data striping for reducing data size. We also leverage the sphere anchor geometry knowledge to replace data used for encoding the constant position information with anchor index and the Euclidean distance. In total, our encoding method reduces 80% data in practice. To maximize the computation performance, we developed a tailored on-device GPU pipeline to support most on-device computation in our system. Notably, for unisphere point cloud sampling, we replaced the time-consuming nearest neighbor searching process with cache results from a pre-computed acceleration grid, which requires only one memory access time. Our evaluation shows using acceleration grid has negligible impacts on mismatching and estimation accuracy. Here we show two figures, showing the mismatch rate in terms of mismatching percentage and the estimation impact in terms of normalized accuracy. Both of them show negligible precision impact of using acceleration grid. Our system also reduces unnecessary estimation across frames using an adaptive estimation triggering strategy. This strategy uses a sphere pooling window to evaluate the unisphere-based point cloud difference between frames and decides triggering based on the amount of color value differences. We demonstrate the effectiveness of the triggering strategy based on both simulation experiment and lab-based real-world testing. Our simulation experiment is based on a large real-world indoor dataset. We tested both the triggering accuracy and the triggering threshold robustness. For real-world testing, by controlling three key parameters, temperature, intensity, and user movement, we showed that our triggering strategy can reduce a large number of unnecessary estimation and does not produce significant mismatch both numerically and visually. In real-world testing, using the optimal system configuration, Xihe can skip approximately at least 76% of estimation requests. This effectively translates to high network and battery efficiency, and leaves the resources to more intensive graphics tasks. To summarize, Xihe is developed on top of the Unity 3D and AR Foundation framework. We provide easy-to-use APIs for lighting estimation and AR session recording for evaluation purpose. We also include an iOS application that runs on LiDAR-enabled iPad Pro. Here we provide more rendering results as Xihe comparing to ARKit and a recent academic research framework Gleam, showing Xihe can produce visually better results. Performance-wise, using Xihe, lighting estimation via the university Wi-Fi can complete in as fast as approximately 21 milliseconds. We also conducted a lab-based evaluation by using a controllable external light source. We tested the triggering strategy effectiveness and also produced multiple rendering results with different object material settings. Note that Xihe lighting estimation is bounded by the supported lighting estimator. Currently, our estimator only supports low-frequency lighting estimation, and virtual objects that require high-frequency lighting estimation will have less photorealistic effects. To wrap up, Xihe is a 3D vision-based lighting estimation framework that provides fast and accurate spatially varying lighting estimation for mobile AR systems. Second, our results show that Xihe can support 30 frames per second real-time rendering goal. Third, our controlled experiment demonstrated that Xihe can provide visually better rendering than ARKit and Gleam under various experiment settings. 
Finally, we have released all the research artifacts, including source code and experiment data as part of our major contribution to the research community. Thank you all for listening. See you at Mobisys 2021. And don't forget to check our open source GitHub repos for research artifacts, including all the system source code.